Jay had a successful life. He owned a company in Colorado Springs. He had a nice home, a family with three kids. But like a lot of relationships, he and his wife grew apart. After 26 years of marriage, they divorced. Definitely hit me hard after she left. It was like, what do I do? So I turned to drugs because I knew it would make me happier. Or I thought it would, <laughs> to a point. It wasn't the first time Jay had used drugs to cope. As a teenager, he had turned to drugs to help him hide his emotions. I was always told men don't cry. They don't show emotion. So I held everything in, and I figured the easiest way to hold it in is if you did drugs, because then you didn't have any feelings. When I look back through the years, I've always used meth, coke, marijuana, since junior high. Six months after his divorce, Jay remarried. And while Jay was still using drugs, he discovered his new wife used more than he realized. While Jay was at work, she sold their belongings to buy drugs. Then Jay had a heart attack. I was on a roof and I thought I had heartburn. I did, I thought I had heartburn or I was having a heat stroke. Jay lost his job. He separated from his wife and became homeless. I had a backpack that had two pairs of jeans, three shirts, and one pair of shoes. Despite the odds, Jay found a home, got a job, and reunited with his second wife. But shortly after they got back together, Jay found his wife dead from a drug overdose. After her death, Jay tried to rebuild his life. He graduated from truck driving school and began working as a truck driver. However, he failed a drug test and could not maintain employment. He became addicted to methamphetamine and spent the next year living under a bridge and in an abandoned house. During this time, Jay kept seeing advertisements for Aspen Point's one-stop care and how their integrated healthcare services can help people suffering from substance use. And I kept seeing the signs on the bus and I've been seeing them for a year. And finally it's like, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere doing that. Jay called Aspen Point and began seeing a therapist for behavioral health care and a primary care physician for his physical health care. He also saw a cardiologist, dentist and optometrist. Jay completed Aspen Point's substance use recovery program. Because of this, he was able to get off the streets and find a place to live. Jay's treatment also included cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and dialectical behavioral therapy, or DBT. I got benefit out of all of it. DBT, I think, was real good because it helps you to understand, like, if you're depressed, are you really depressed? Or is something else triggering that feeling? Today, Jay is sober, working full time, and experiencing positive relationships. He encourages others to call Aspen Point. If you want to be happy, go through DBT, CBT. Stop doing the drugs. Find out why you're miserable. Through Aspen Point, they showed me what was causing the problems. I'm not homeless anymore, and I'm not on drugs, and I'm happy. <laughs>